chances are you've seen the commercial. It is pretty eye-catching to see a cell phone shredded in a kitchen blender. But does it work in real life? Lisa Guerrero put it to the test. Will it blend? That is the question. For years, blend tech owner Tom Dixon has pushed his blenders to the limit in his popular commercials that have racked up 287 million views on the Internet. He claims it's a blender so powerful it can pulverize just about anything, even marble. So just how real are those outrageous Will It Blend clips? To find out, we're putting the Blendtec blender to the test. Joining me is Tom Dixon himself. He must be real confident. We right. really appreciate you being yeah, here I'm happy and showing us here. how you did it. Yes. First up, a can of Coke. There you go. Okay, ready? In slow motion, you can see the can getting ripped apart. So this is all that's left of the Coke can. Surprise, I'm not surprised. Next up, marbles. Wow. Whoa, Ooh. woo, Tom, we've lost our marbles. Yes. Then we tried a Perrier bottle. Whoa. Here we go. A rake handle. It turned into... Toothpicks. High fiber diet. One of your most popular clips on YouTube is demolishing an iPhone. Yes, absolutely. You've had 12 million views. So today, we're going to try to do it ourselves. I think I'll push the smoothie button. Wow! Well, that's one way to delete a text from an old boyfriend. Alexa. Perhaps the most amazing commercial is when they actually blend an Amazon Alexa, turning it into dust. Can we do that today? You really want to? I do. This is very dangerous. It could blow up. It's got a lot of batteries in it. In the commercial, they make it look so easy. But what you don't see is them stopping and starting and even taking out the batteries with special tools that we didn't have. So you cheated a little bit. Yes, cheated. Took the batteries out. Saved. I'm still alive to talk about it. Thank you, Alexa. So in our test, for the most part, the blend tech works, just like in those commercials. Imagine what it does with a nice smoothie. Cheers. Cheers. If you think the blender is so strong because the blades are super sharp, you are wrong. The blades are actually designed to be dull, so they work more like hammers than cutters.